This is Camp Stallman, named for Mr. E.B. Stallman, Jr., whose interest in the Boy Scouts is legend. And it is here where many will find an excitement they have never experienced before. It's something of which no boy's life should be devoid. The camp life is one of activities covering just about everything. Hands are seldom, if ever, idle, but then being kept busy is part of the adventure. Let's move now to another part of the activity yard where special skills are taught. Any boy must sometime in his life learn to work and perform with his hands. Here in learning rope work, he goes through forms of coordination which help guide him in dexterity. There's something neat and masculine about a knot. One can readily see why this is the life for young men and not for young ladies. How many girls are the types who like snakes? But with boys, it's something else. There is no greater satisfaction in the world, particularly to a young person, than the feeling of having made something for oneself. So here with Mr. Pierce and the handicraft section, we see some of the examples of this accomplishment. The leather work, the bead work, is all done by the scouts under proper supervision. Whether at home or on a visit or at camp, there's always a certain reluctance among any young boy to take that necessary trek to the shower house. There's plenty of running water here, not necessarily hot, but a lot of cold. The showers may be quick, but they're refreshing. Somewhere along the way, we should have mentioned that scouts do like to eat, especially if someone else is cooking. This is the Camp Stallman Dining Hall, and it's among the popular places. The unit leaders, of course, are something special, and they get the steaks, the fillets. If they lose any weight while roughing at camp, it's not the cook's fault. They're noted for their ability to stash away the groceries. And a steak supper at the end of the day of complete activity is a reward for a job well done. The food is among the best and the scouts are proud of it. Of course, it doesn't stay around long enough for anyone to show it off, but that's mute testimony to its deliciousness. You can bet they lick the plates clean, too. There's always that one fellow who tries to sneak back for seconds. At the close of the day, the camp staff poses for our camera and later they will make preliminary plans for the day ahead after a critique of what has just gone by. The planning never ceases. Here at Camp Stallman, every detail will be worked out so the adventure may continue without a hitch. At the end of a long, weary day, there comes the quiet hours and the prelude to these hours is retreat. Everyone in his lifetime must thrill to the sight of the colors being lowered against the shadows of dust, highlighted by the fading rays of the setting sun. And then the playing of taps signifying that day is gone.